Hello and welcome to a DJ School UK tutorial. Uh, today we're going to show you how to download and install completely free DJ software so you can carry on preparing, practicing or just getting into DJ for the first time at home without any controller or other uh, hardware. We would first say you go to serato.com because we recommend Serato DJ Lite as the best completely free DJ software. So download that. How you install it is actually dependent on whether you're on a Mac or a PC. I can't help with that, but you may need an adult to help you. Uh, you will need to set up an account with Serato first. That will need a user email and a password. Um, at the email address, you don't need to authorize through the email, but you will get a quite handy walkthrough of Serato features. So it's worth having someone who's got an email that, that you can see do that for you. Um, once it's all done and dusted, Serato Lite will look like this. I'm just going to eject these tracks so that you can see me actually loading songs. Uh, over here, you've got your songs. I have set up all these yellow crates, and just to show you how to do one, you just hit plus up here, and you get another crate, double tap to name it. We'll call that one name. Um, if you want to delete one that's empty, you can control and backspace. The ones that have got songs in, you'll see songs over here and it's as easy as drag and drop a song to load it up. When you load a song up, you can see the whole song up here. Little gaps show little changes in the songs, in the song structure or what's going on in the song. Those are probably little breakdowns. Uh, here you've got a close-up of that and you can see the individual sounds. You hear sound when it passes that white line. But you can play using keyboard shortcuts. You don't have to use the mouse for everything. W is play for this side, S is play for this side. Uh, you do need to use the mouse for volumes, which is here and here. You do need to use the mouse for the crossfader, which is here. And you do need to use the mouse to alter your BPM or tempo, which is here. And if I load another song up, here. This little plus and this little minus, if it's playing, are the nudges. Temporarily slowing down or speeding up the song so that you can get your beat matching perfect. We'll cover beat matching in another video. There are also shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts for plus and minus, and they are T and Y for the left hand side and G and H for the right hand side. Finally, keyboard shortcuts for hot cues. First, let me explain what a hot cue is. At the moment, there aren't any coloured triangles on this, but if I hit plus here, you get coloured triangles there and a coloured rectangle there. That corresponds with the number one on your keyboard, and it means that you will play until you let go, or if it's playing, you'll play and carry on. So you can stutter parts of songs. I can also line up an area here in the middle of the song like I said see a change line it up perfectly and hit number two or press, press plus I'll hit number two this time just to show now I've got a hot cue there so while it's playing now I can jump to the beginning but when I'm ready I can jump straight to that drop one two three four very powerful feature of DJ Lite. Uh, first things last, I highly recommend that you start up here with the master volume, turn it off, have a song playing and slowly turn it up until you get to a volume you're happy with. I'm fully aware that the sound quality of this video is terrible because we're playing out of the laptop sound speakers, but that's half the point. You can do this through laptop speakers, you can add headphones, you can add a sound system, you can do it as you like. You can practice DJing, you can prepare songs and mixes, or you can investigate DJing on your own completely for free at home using Serato DJ Lite. Um, if you need more information, feel free to email info at djschooluk.org.uk. And thank you for listening.